One of my favourite quotes describes politics as show business for ugly people. Hello, my name's Penny Sharp and I'm a politician. Politicians are paid to talk for a living. We're also supposed to listen. Tonight I want to talk to you about how people like you can get people like me to listen. How many of you here have ever met with a politician? Signed a petition? Yelled at the television that someone should do something about an issue? <laughs> Every four years, you get to vote. In between that, you actually delegate the decision-making to people like me, and we make thousands of decisions on your behalf. You need to think about that for a minute. You don't have to spend millions of dollars in advertising campaigns to make a difference, but you do need to know a bit about politicians. Politicians are time poor. They work 80 hours a week. Every request that you have with them is just one of many they already have sitting on their desks. You also need to understand what motivates them. Some politicians <laughs> cause havoc, get on Dancing with the Stars and go away one day. Others are in it for the power. Others got it because their old man was a politician, George W. Bush, anyone? <laughs> but the reality is that most politicians actually get involved because they want to make a difference. They want to make a difference in their community. They want to make a difference in a, on a particular issue. They want to be part of affecting change. And that's where you as a voter are actually in the driver's seat. You can find allies in politicians if you know where to look. If you support gay marriage, you can find people who will help you make that happen. If you're dead against it, there's people who will help you too. Um, you just need to know where to target them. You need to find who they are. Your first target should be your local member. Remember, they need your vote to get elected and keep their job. They are paid to listen to you. What you need to do is just make first contact. You need to ring up. You need to write to them. You need to ask to make an appointment and go and see them. If you see a politician standing at a street stall, go and talk to them. It's the cheapest, easiest way to raise an issue with them. You can also bail us up at the footy or the supermarket. Don't be shy. People do it to me all the time. <laughs> Ultimately, though, remember, be nice to their staff. MP staff do most of the work and usually know more about it than the MP. Obviously, mail and email are important too. Remember, a handwritten response usually gets a hand proper reply. Individual emails also do that, as do letters. If you send me a form email, I might look at it, I might reply, but many of my colleagues will actually bin it. Social media only works if the MPs tweeting themselves or using their own Facebook. Still use it, but only um, consider it like an email if their staff are actually working it. Never use emoticons, strange fonts, underlining or bolding. Please, caps, don't do it. My colleagues and I joke about it, but if you've got a serious issue to raise with us, we will not take you seriously if you send us this kind of stuff. <laughs> so you sat down to write your letter and you've got a meeting. You need to tell your story. You need to tell us why the decision we're about to make affects you or your family or your neighbourhood. Be brief. One page is good, two pages okay, three pages you're beginning to lose us. If you meet with us in person, if you can't tell your story in 10 minutes, there's trouble. Passion is good, rudeness is not. If you have a meeting with an MP and you're really rude to them, they'll start to look at their watch, they'll want to leave the room. If you've written to them, they'll delegate your letter for an electronic signature. Always ask the MP what they're going to do with the information that you've given them. Never leave the room without an agreed course of action. And if you're not sure, ask them. MPs actually know their way around government and they can point you in the right direction. It's worth asking them. You got a big issue, you need a campaign. Politicians respond to numbers. One voter, one person. Many people, many votes. Their job. Um, you need to basically do a good campaign. Good campaigns are well researched. They're focused, they're tenacious. They tell a story and they bring lots and lots of people with them. Ineffective campaigns do the opposite. They're not well researched. They often lack credibility. They often target the wrong person. They're sometimes very divisive. If your campaign relies upon um, divisiveness and um, hate, then you're less likely to get your MP on board. They need 50% of people to vote for them. Be aware of that. You can make a difference. Ultimately, it comes down to credibility. If you're credible with your politician, they will listen to you and they will make a difference. Some people and organisations pay millions and millions and millions of dollars to try and shape the decisions that are happening in our community every day. 
I hope that this, for your 10 bucks tonight and this five minutes, you now realise that you can make a difference. And if you actually make politicians work on your behalf, our democracy will be the better for it. Thank you. Woo!